Hi my friends. Let's model the part number 97, right pump body, from my collection of 100 parts. The picture shows us what is this about, and you can see uh, holes and volumes. The drawing is more suggestive. There are some holes, different orientation and dimension, uh, but nothing is complicated. Yes, there are many, but not complicated, like in other situations. Let's start. We start from the plane XY, which starts from here. So and back. Well, this is the center line and the length of it is 94 minus 16 minus 8 minus 20. I'll show you all this. The dimension from here is 10. Uh, diameters are 85. I want to not forget to place this here. This angle is 30. And this distance is uh, 6 millimeters. Finish sketch, F6, revolve. OK. To make this uh, the default image, I move this a little to show you what I do show current view as home fit to view yes and now no matter how this is you see this is the default okay now you know more about this aspect Due to this setting, also F6 place the um, part in this position. If we take a look to the drawing, we see that uh, dimensions, the expression 94 minus 16 minus 8 minus 20, place this end. And here is uh, the chamfer. The diameter of 85 is here. Good. Uh, I placed the center point at uh, 10 millimeters from the center of this uh, contour. 10 is here. Because uh, I prefer to have uh, the center point on this line instead of uh, the axis of this contour yes they are eccentric this circle with this are eccentric at 10 millimeters now i cut this from the volume which uh, has dimensions 12 
and 8 from the center point, yes, not from 10 below. XY, sketch, F7, rectangle, 12, Eight and I project these two lines to make collinear this and respectively this. Finish sketch, extrude, cut, symmetrical all the way okay next is uh, this um, extrusion 58 60 and the face is uh, uh, this from the left remember this and I Use the plane XY, F7, the rectangle is on this line and goes down. Uh, I project this geometry to make collinear here and also project geometry to make collinear. So I have to place, oh, this is coincident. I have to place only this dimension, which is 58. Finish sketch, extrude, symmetrical. on 60 yes 60 okay this is the part till now next as you can see here is uh, this small cut from the face to the 12 yes which appears here this is the cut from the face to 12 as uh, up. Good. F6. Now I draw a rectangle from this corner to about here and the other one symmetrical with the up line on the same line with this. If I move this point to the right, it moves also to the left. I project this arc and this arc because I want to make them tangent with the rectangle. A dimension is 36 only one dimension again finish sketch extrude this and this you see I made this not constructive so I have to select also the rest of it uh, cut to to this face okay you see now there is a chamfer 11 at 45 let's apply it chamfer 11 okay next is this uh, revolution body centered on the 
center point with dimensions uh, here 40 16 46 and 94 we create the profile F7 starting from the center point 94 I just write 94 here up right up and uh, do this yes and then I close here this is to be splitted in a point to make this as center line and to have a uh, closed area this is not important but uh, it served us to place 94 directly not 94 minus 12 this is why I place it diameter here is uh, 40 the other is uh, 46 and this dimension is 16 finish sketch revolve ok now the flange you see here dimensions radius 9 distance 64 and this diameter 46 is this one yes and we can see this here here same line for the flange and for the cylinder this is the plane for the flange a circle with radius 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 of 9 9 and another circle they are equal in radius good I draw a line between these centers I make it construction line I make it horizontal and F7 I place it with the center the midpoint to the center point okay now I know that this is not to be considered but this is to be considered but also as a construction line you'll see why line from any point by keeping pressed the left button as you know here I can use uh, the promoted point like now this is also to be created and I use the promoted point you see it is not tangent but I'm sure that it will be all of them are tangent good trim this ends I don't know uh, how uh, near this and uh, they will intersect other circles and I add these arcs one and the second because this circle is uh, projected construction not to be included in our contour I can only apply now the distance yes which 
I told you is 64 this is not identical or something I make equal this with this now I apply automatic apply a tangency was not remove apply done now the missing uh, constraints are placed and we see what we want to see white contour and fully constrained the thickness of the flange is uh, 8 to the right extrude contour all to the right join 8 ok I'll place the holes now to be sure two holes of 8 hole simple hole this face this center to this face and diameter of uh, 8 the same this face this arc to the same face of 8 ok they are not through the whole part you imagine yes they are limited to this flange good next is uh, this cut you see 28 14 from the center point and 24 radius 10 plane xy sketch f7 line from somewhere down to the left keep press the left button and create an arc good 28 this is 14 radius 10 and dimension 24 from this point to the end 24 I draw a closing line finish sketch extrude cut symmetrical all the way okay now the interior here this has dimensions here as you can see diameter of 25 another of 12 this is 20 and this is through we can see this here this is through all the part the 12 and there is a small uh, clearance 1.5 3.5 let's create this x y as always I prefer this plane and you know why line center line from the middle to the middle no center line up more than this like this continue to the right down and and 
closing here. Diameters are 25 and 12. Distance here and not this. This is uh, 20. Is 20. Now the clearance. Small rectangle. As you can see, a split before and after select to the left and make construction this dimension is 1.5 and this is 3.5 this is uh, because I, I created the first line to here and it was center line you imagine what is this about 3.5 the diameter is 26.2 as I remember 26.2 yes 26.2 that's all well defined revolve cut I have to select axis this is axis because there was another one vertical <laughs> this is why now comes this channel for a gasket uh, which is detailed here and you see where it is is centered with this and not with this yes uh, with dimensions here 75 82 15 2.3 let's create we use the same nice plane and I draw a trapeze I close the area good now I make equal the sloped size I add the angle 2.3 and where from I measure the diameter I create a center line starting from the mid line this is the mid line to the left somewhere on this face to have an end okay this is a, a center line diameters are this is 82 And the other seventy a five. Good. Full constraint. I want to see uh, if I uh, placed okay the center line. Revolve. Yes. You see this is centered in the face cut okay good f6 
Now I want to place this hole, which is uh, threaded. It's uh, data we find here. Yes, I create a counter bore with this uh, counter bore and then a thread of a metric 22 with a pitch of 1.5 which is a thinner thread 12 is the depth uh, and uh, the uh, thread is to end then as you can see there is another hole of 20 but I'll take advantage by def defining this to place it also here and at the end the hole of 20 through now you remember 27 oh this is 1.5 let's place it <laughs> well should we place yes uh, 30 from the center of uh, this diameter not from the uh, center point 30 or 30 point plus 10 from the center point and 31 here good this face f7 point 30 plus 10 to here 30 plus 10 and on the other direction 31 good finish sketch hole thread it and counter bore ESO 22 3 is the normal pitch and we select 1.5 good full depth for the uh, thread uh, and dimension dimension is uh, 12 tab diameter of the counter bore is 27 depth of counter bore is 1.5 and that's all yes dimensions 44 what is 44 position other thing okay plus the same on this face concentric with this you see I don't create another point on the other face and the other is uh, the same okay the two holes in one operation very nice good now we create this hole through of 20 hole simple simple through this face this center and 20 okay see very nice again now we have to create the other pair of holes which uh, starts from a round faces and uh, we need to create this axis by using uh, 
all the data we have. We have a data with the center of the other hole. As you know, they are on the same vertical. You see? Place the 31. I don't want to use 31 as a value, and I also don't want to use the distance of 10 between the uh, plane with the center point and this plane. So I'll create two planes in a sequence of uh, 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 actions for each one. I'll, that planes are one is here at 31 distance from here and placed uh, in a point which uh, comes from the axis intersected with the face. So we have that plane placed at 31 in fact. And the other plane is uh, parallel with this face say or with a, a, a plane from uh, the center point the horizontal plane and which needs a point as well which is the center of this circle we can create also that point when we have a plane and a point we have uh, the other plane the plane which contains this axis and when we have that plane and the other they both create an axis be very careful now because I start all in one action we create an axis yes this is what we want then I create a plane which is based on this one and which must uh, have a point which is created by an axis and a plane. Now that plane is created. Yes, you can see the plane here and it's waiting for me to create the other plane I create a, another plane now which is parallel with this face or with the horizontal place the plane and which uh, contains the center of this uh, circle. This means that I need to create a point. The point is based on a, an axis, this axis, and also on this point. That two planes finish their mission and this is the axis, yes? You have to take your time and see uh, the sequences, actions in the past which created this axis. Now a point at the intersection of this face with uh, the cylinder give us uh, the position for the hole. The hole. Now let's look to the def definition of the hole. Definition of the hole is a counter bore of 22 with a, a depth of uh, half 85 minus 40. Yes, this is the face. Half of uh, this diameter is the radius minus 40. Then a thread metric 16 with a pitch of 
with the length of the hole, the depth of the hole of 14 and the depth of the thread 12. Let's create this because we have the point, the starting point, this one, and the direction. Hole, starting point, direction. And now we start from a threaded and counter bore isometric 16 uh, thinner pitch 1.5 and then we look here this is the thread 12 tab the full is 14 the diameter up is 22 okay and this is 85 divided by 2 minus 40 as I said plus on the other face oh but we don't have a point we end here the second hole we need this point at the intersection of these two of an axis and a face having them we can place in this point with this axis in the other direction the same definition okay that's all <laughs> the visibility for both points we don't have we don't want to have a, a garbage yes on our project no garbage good the last uh, hole which is this has a uh, uh, concentric hole of uh, 28.5 diameter of 5 let's create this the uh, 28.5 is measured from the counter board hole simple simple uh, with a di distance this face, this center, and five, diameter of five, and the depth tab is 28.5. Okay, F6. Another hole is a continuation of this and uh, it is diameter of 3 to other hole but we have a depth 40 so we measure from here 40 of a new hole just like the previous one hole this face this circle diameter of 3 tab and depth of 40 ok next is the intersecting hole this one which if you are very careful you see that it is just in the center of the external contour the depth of this hole is 48 measured from this face diameter 3 remember all the start of the hole is this face hole simple hole 3 millimeters starting from this face 
concentric with this uh, external contour and three millimeters tab 48 okay next are the holes from here they are placed at uh, 15 from the center one is metric 10 another is metric 6 from the bottom to the uh, great hole inside we create a sketch on the bottom this is the bottom let's see here is the metric 6 here is metric 10 don't forget two points one two they are on the same horizontal this is horizontal same vertical one two but I hope they are not placed oh they are on a line from behind I free this uh, restriction and now I hope to move the point yes together with the other okay now they are placed at 15 from the midpoint both of them and on the axis yes I project this uh, circle and I have a, a midpoint now so to place a point on that midpoint you see this is the center of course good finish sketch let's see again this is metric 6 this is metric 10 through but ending in this uh, uh, hole hole threaded metric six. Oh, there are both selected I keep pressed control and I reselect one hole to be not selected yes uh, full depth metric 6 normal pitch this is normal pitch and 2 to this that's all next now I select the the other uh, point 10 and 2 2 is the same large hole inside okay next we have to create this hole which goes to another one which one this one let's create this hole we have all the data the plane is uh, axial plane of this uh, end and the uh, dimensions 5 millimeters diameter 12.5 and 36 as a depth diameter of 
five. Well, the face is this. We place a point at twelve point five. Twelve point five. And on the same horizontal, which is horizontal, this. Uh, on the same horizontal with a center point. Yes? Finish sketch. Hole with uh, termination. Uh, depth is 36. And diameter is not threaded, diameter is 5. Okay. Now a hole here, which is uh, also diameter of 5, and to this ends here. Let's verify this hole, the last one, is 3, not 5. 5 was. I was wrong. Okay. Hole of uh, 5. Simple hole. On this face, with this center, which goes to this hole. Yes? they uh, are encountering one to each other. Okay. Very good. You see details here. A hole ending in another hole. The last hole is this sloped one, which is placed in the uh, plane in this plane, uh, 10 millimeters below this axis, we have to take care because the center point is here on this line. And now we want to work in this plane. You see the hole is here, yes? This is not on the horizontal of this hole, but on the diametral plan of this cylinder. Dimensions are uh, 30 degrees, 15.5 diameter of 4 and we uh, proceed by creating this axis and starting from a work point placed here. We don't have a drilling machine to uh, be placed here but the result uh, matters yes we have a hole from here all the way to outside let's start so I turn this so plane parallel with this one and now I create a point point which is at the intersection of an axis, which axis? This one, with this plane. Okay? Sketch, F7, and now we create a line from around here to this face. The angle is uh, 30 degrees 30 this point must be on the vertical of uh, another point which must be this one so I uh, apply vertical between this point and this end. The distance of this end to here 
is 15.5 yes okay now we have to create the axis which is somewhere inside here axis this is the axis and the point for starting the hole the sketch is no more useful to be visible and we create the hole simple hole all the way this point this axis the other direction and diameter of four millimeters four okay f6 visibility now the garbage you see the hole this is not to be visible and also the point visibility I said this is the last hole but it is not let's see you see here there are another four holes here which are defined and this view four holes of a five with depth of 15 distance is 45 divided by 2 at 45 degrees nothing simpler line from this point 45 divided by 2 tab 45 here we place a point finish sketch hole simple 5 depth of 15 the hole is already placed ok and now a circular pattern for this hole about this axis in four instances okay the last last thing is this chamfer which is dimensioned here one at 45 degrees this chamfer one okay you see the part from all its angles yes we assign our usual material still cast semi polished no still cast and some faces one two three also this and also the last chamfer now this face this face this one and maybe this one also these two faces if you want you can add other faces data i properties physical update 2.1 kilograms that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye